Hey, what's up everyone? Hopefully everyone's doing well. It is August 3rd of 2023. Today I decided to um, update my PKG um, file, my application I should say. Um, if you guys know what the PKG does, um, I don't have to explain it then. Um, the link would be down in the description below. Um, I just found out that there was a new version of this application to be downloaded. So I'm just going to update it. It's very easy, quick to do. Um, link will be down in the description below. Um, this was updated four days ago. I haven't turned my PS Vita on for quite some time, except for yesterday to do the video about the Sonic 3 install. Uh, the new version of PKGJ is version 0 0.57, which was released four days ago. And right here it tells you what's new, added background, download for PSM games, you'll need to update no PSM DRM. You could do that through the Auto Plugin 2 application, or you could go to and download it here. But then you got to enter um, a line of code into the config.txt file, which I'm sure it tells you how to do it there you go it's simple it's easy a monkey can do it so let's download this once this is downloaded I'm gonna grab my PlayStation Vita boot it up um, and I'll see you over on the PS Vita side of things all right once you boot, boot it up your PlayStation Vita you want to scroll down to wherever your Vita shell is you want to enter the Vita shell. Next, you want to hit the start button. You want to go down to where it says select button. Now move the D-pad over left or right, doesn't matter, to FTP or USB, whatever method, method you prefer to use uh, to transfer files over. We're going to be using the USB method, so we're going to leave it as that, this. Next, you want to plug in your USB cord to the either your desktop or your laptop to the PlayStation Vita, and you want to hit the select button. So since I don't have my um, the wire plugged into the my laptop, I'm getting this message right here. So once I plug my wire in, we'll be all set. So I'll see you over at the uh, my laptop again. All right, since we hooked up the PlayStation Vita to my laptop um, via USB plug, um, I'm gonna go to Windows Explorer. I don't know where you guys like to keep your downloads, but my I do have a folder called Downloads. I'm going to drag and drop this onto the desktop. Or what I could have done was just scroll down and go to my D drive, which is the PlayStation Vita. As you can tell, this is the old version. Um, it is 0.55. I believe it is. There you go. So you see all these files in here. Nothing in the cover. Now, like I usually say, um, you guys are more than welcome to add a folder to keep things nice and neat. Or you could just drag and drop the VPK files right into the root directory. Which I did. I'm going to delete this since I'm not going to use, I don't use the folder. Next, what we want to do is, let's see, you want to safely remove, um, you want to safely eject or remove the uh, USB um, to the PlayStation Vita. Because if you just unplug it, you never know, you might screw something up. Um, so, just be careful, guys. Alright, after that. We're good. We could delete the VPK file since we don't need it anymore. Or you can just drag and drop it over to the recycle bin. Next, we are going to go to the PlayStation Vita, install it, and we should be good to go. All right, we're back over at the PS Vita. Before we do anything, I want to show you that I'm running on 0 0.55. So we hold down the button. Right to the bubble shell, go down to information. Zero left 55. 
we just th uh, threw on the new VPK, which is 0 0.57. So what you want to do is go to Vita Shell, load Vita Shell up, scroll all the way down to UX0, scroll all the way down to PKGJ. Install it, give it a few seconds, like 20 seconds, 20, 30. There you go. Now it's highlighted. Triangle. Delete. Since we don't need it anymore. What you want to do is hit start. Go down to reboot or what you can do is hit the PlayStation button and just swipe out. I'm going to reboot. I'm going to hold down the icon button, go to the three buttons, 0 0.57, there you go. Hit triangle, now you can search, short, sort through anything. You filter Asia games, Europe, Japan, or you can uncheck mark them. And if you hit install games only, it'll show you what games you already have installed onto the PS Vita. Also, you could sort by title, name, region, size, date. I'm just gonna keep it on USA. I'm just gonna refresh. There you go. And that's how you update your PKGJ application. Um, the second way is to actually, what you can actually do if you want to get like a fresh start, you can hold down the button, go to the three dots and click delete. And it'll delete the whole um, PKG application. But then you would have to go back into the Vita shell Scroll down to the UX zero. And most likely the PKGJ folder will still be here. So if that's the case, you want to just hit triangle and go down to delete and delete the folder. And that's how you can update the uh, application as well if you want to do it that way. But I think it's just easier just to download the VPK file, load it onto the UX zero uh, folder and install it that way so if you like you like if you don't like don't like that's fine um, leave comments below if you want thank you guys once again